Okay, guys, we've got a legend. We've got an absolute legend on the show here. Chris Pajak, hope I'm pronouncing his name right. Pajak? Pajak, is it? Chris Pajak? On the show from Redman TV. I can't believe I got him. Everybody in the whole world wants him. An absolute legend. <laughs> Liverpool legend. Chris, welcome to Dave's LFC chat. Thank you very much for asking me, man. It's <laughs> no. such a pain in the arse. And, like, you know, you've been trying to get me get me to come on for ages, and I'm, I've just been so busy, mate. So, so apologies. Like, I think I've no. to come on, and I, and I, and I have. Absolutely delighted you came on. I mean, I didn't think I'd get you in the first place. But anyway, uh, I'm just going to go through a few questions because I know you're so busy. You're such a busy man. I'm just going to ask you a few questions. First question I want to ask you, I've always wanted to ask yourself and Paul, obviously. How did Red Men TV start? And it's grown into a huge, iconic fan channel now. How the hell? It's bad, mate. Um, so it wasn't really, it wasn't, I wasn't involved in the startup of it. It was two mates of mine, obviously Paul and Aubrey, and they had this idea and then... Paul and me had a pact from when we were back in school that we'd always do stuff together and, and you know so Paul lost his job he came and worked for me and he wanted me to do stuff with him and you know and that was kind of it like we were having these conversations in the pub anyway and we just thought you know what Paul's got a background in media he wanted to present it with me we were best mates so let's just go for it man let's just start doing stuff so for years we think it was 2007 when we first started it pilot was done in 2009 yeah then on YouTube properly in 2010 uh, we've been doing it ever since you know we did it around work for six years five years something around that and then we took the plunge and just decided to let's just try and do it full time um, it's been a blessing um, but g genuinely we just kind of we just kind of wanted to promote Liverpool and the people um, yeah. and have those conversations that we're having and bringing in all the expats who, who maybe don't have a friendship group who could just chat to us and create a community around it and this is what it's kind of snowballed into Yeah, you've done unbelievable and, and you've a new channel out, um, Mac and Payjack you've a new one, that looks to be doing well doesn't it? Doing really well mate yeah so it's not as have intrinsically linked with Liverpool and stuff like that but it, it means, to be honest it's, I, we probably needed it because we've been doing this a decade now Yeah. Um, and when you're just focused on the same thing for a decade, it's nice to just talk about something a little bit different. And, you know, it's a little bit of a... We're just letting off steam on that channel. It, it's, it's good to mix things up anyway. It's always good, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Like. And uh, obviously the reason I have you on here is obviously Liverpool FC, but uh, what a goddamn season. This is this is Thierry unreal stuff, as I say. But <laughs> it's unbelievable, isn't it? Mate, it's incredible. Like, it's oh, incredible. Jesus. A bitching and whinging about it on... Twitter and you're like, he's fucking mad. Do you have any idea what's been going on at this football club in the last decade? When we started Redmen TV, Rafa had just been sacked. We had Roy Hodgson in charge and we had them cowboys from America owning the football club. <laughs> yeah, Gillette. Yeah. What's that about? And now look at us, we've gone to three European Cup finals in four seasons. Unbelievable. We've gone twice. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Yeah, yeah. And 97 points is just... If we beat Wolves, which I'm obviously thinking we will beat Wolves, I'm going for 2-0, but imagine, like, I can't even believe us coming second with 97 points. It's just crazy. Crazy. You just have to shake the hand, don't you? Because, you know, there's two teams in this league that have been unbelievable. Yeah. Like one of them. And if there's someone that's been as good as us, fair play to them. If there's someone that's been better than us, fair play. Because this is the best Liverpool side that I've ever seen. And yeah. there's someone out there that's lost more points. You've got to shake their hands. And I know that, you know, they've spent too much money and they've broken FFP. But ultimately, them lads have still put points on the board. Yeah. If Liverpool is yeah. with 97 yeah. points. It's the best side that's not, never won the league. Unbelievable. Well, we, well, we might win it. We might win the double. You never know. I still think we've got a. I think think we've got a chance. You know what I mean. That's um, the reason I'm coming over to you. I'm coming over. I'm flying over tomorrow night, baby. <laughs> listen, I know you're flying over tomorrow night. You said you're coming back on Sun on Monday. Right? Yeah. If Liverpool win the league, book it for the next Monday. Oh you're Jesus! Till then, mate. There's no going back. You need at least seven to eight days <laughs> on the island in Liverpool because one day after we've won it isn't going to be enough for you. Oh it's fucking hell! Great. Yeah. Stay for beers with everybody oh. you've ever met in your life. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, I'll tell you what, whatever happens on Sunday, it has been an unbelievable season. We obviously have a Champions League final against Spurs on June the 1st. That's unbelievable as well. But to me, it's Liverpool's like a family club. I mean, I know they call Everton the family club, but Liverpool's a family club for me. It absolutely, everybody knows everybody. What do you yeah, think? Man, it's, you know what? The, the mad thing is, is like, the difference between. 
you know, there's loads of differences, trophies being one of them, um, between Liverpool and Everton. But for me, it's that like there's something about this club that people from all around the world can buy into. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, you're from Liverpool, but you know, I bet you're just as passionate. I've seen you. I've seen you with your top off. <laughs> I know you're just as passionate as me. Yeah. I've met lads over in California when we've done pre season tours with yeah. that are just as passionate as me. And that's that's strange. That's that's there's something there. I'm to get look, hairs on my arm. Yeah. Very few hairs on my arm are standing up, mate, because it's I don't know, people just get emotionally invested in this club. It's mad. But as I said to you, I mean, I live in Dublin, which isn't far away from Liverpool, to be honest. I have never been to Anfield. Wow. And I'm going this weekend. I'm doing the stadium tour on Saturday morning at 10.45. I cannot wait. I'm following Liverpool since 84. 1984. And I've never been to Anfield. That's mad. Like, right? this this is crazy shit. And, I, and you've seen me on video. I, can go, I go absolutely fucking mad. I go mad. And people keep saying to me, how the hell have you never been to Anfield? I just never got around to it. But I'm telling you what, I'm going to go this season and I'm going to be there next season. You're going to see a lot of me, baby. You red man better watch out. <laughs> Dave is coming. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Really am. I cannot wait. As I say, I might meet you guys for a beer on Saturday, Sunday if you're around. But I just can't wait. Great to see you guys coming up. Paul as well. Say hello. But um, thanks very much for giving us just chatting. Really has been brilliant, uh, Chris. Really is. Fair. I owe you one. I owe you one. I'll be around Liverpool all weekend, as I say, if I can do anything yeah, for you. Let's have a proper chat and that, like. Definitely, bro. But uh, as I always say on this type of thing, this means more, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like, yeah. it's um, that, by the club, you know what I mean? What do you reckon for, what do you reckon for, for Wolves then, mate? What do you reckon I reckon it's going to be nervy, but to be honest, we have that caveat of having the Champions League, which is brilliant to look forward to. So pressure's sort of off a little bit, I think. It's off as I can go for 2 0. I'd, I'd say 2 0. I like that, mate. I, I'm looking at it and thinking to myself, we might get a big performance. These lads are now putting in, you know, it's your last chance soon press yeah. before the Champions League final. Um, as good as Wolves are, they're going to try and hit us on the counter attack. Our lads are playing for a place in the European Cup. Final. Exactly. And, and I think that because of that, we might just turn up big time. <laughs> to, to be honest, all we need is three points. I don't care, really. 1-0, OG, 96-minute Divock Origi. I couldn't give... Once we get the points, because as we've seen during the week, anything is possible in football. That's it. Footy's mad. You know, I'm hoping... I'm hoping... Exactly. I'm hoping Brighton can brighten up my Sunday. <laughs> that would be lovely. Now, anyway, thank you very much. I'm hoping to bump into you over the weekend, bro. And we can have a proper beer. I don't know whether you drink or not, but uh, <laughs> I, I certainly do. Did you not see my Barcelona match reaction? Bloody I hell. did see it. You weren't in the May West. Yeah, you weren't in the May West. No, no, you weren't happy. You looked a bit under the weather, let's say that. You looked a bit I under the weather, bro. I don't know, mate. 15 pints. <laughs> I've got no idea, but I was going heavy that day. Where would you think's a good place to go now, Liverpool? I'll be around Saturday, obviously. A good place for a beer. Where's a nice friendly hap? I'm on my own, so I've nobody with me. Goodness me, mate. Um, you're asking a married man with two small kids. So I'm married as well. One little girl. Married as well. I've got no idea, mate. I know the local. That's about the only place I get to nowadays. Like, But um, anywhere in the Baltic Triangle. Uh, to be honest, everyone's friendly. It's just like Dublin, mate. Yeah. Everybody's friendly. If you just start spouting off to somebody, you'll meet someone who wants to yeah. chat with you about Liverpool or Yeah. Do you know what? Before you go, Chris, are you guys thinking of coming over to Dublin soon? I know you were here recently. Yeah, we were there last season. We're, t we're, we're talking about it, mate. We'd, we'd like to get over before before the start of the season and maybe do a live something or other. Great. Let us know if you're coming over. That would be good. Yeah, boss. Will do. Okay, I'll let you go. You're a legend. Chris Pajak, Redman TV. All the success going forward. I know you don't need it, but uh, you know what I mean. But uh, this means more, Chris. I'll talk to you soon, bro. Cheers, man. Thank you very much. Hope to bump into you over the weekend. Cheers. Cheers, man. Bye.